Hello and welcome Fish here with another BMS video. In this brief video I'm going to look at the HAD mode using the HTS pod in BMS 436. So I've set up uh, a couple of SAMs and I've got uh, some threat circles for them and we're going to change our steer point to steer point 4. Now I know they're at steer point 4 but I don't know exactly where they are so we don't have any pre-planned um, steer points for them. And it's important to understand that the HTS is a passive pod. It doesn't emit any radiation and get reflected radiation. It only receives anything that's transmitted from uh, the active radar site on the ground. And what it tries to do is it tries to use any information about the radar which can which can switch itself on and off um, as part of the tactics, evasive tactics and it tries to gather that information, assimilate it and get an accurate picture of where it is. So when you fire, wh when you hand off to the HAD mode you're actually passing all the relevant information that the HTS has gathered on the target and it's passed on to the HARM and also the, uh, the, the modes, the pause modes are also had passed on to the harm but as soon as the, the as soon as the AGM-88 leaves the rail it's actually got we got no more control over it I'm gonna send these guys home flight mission RTB so um, with that in mind we're gonna switch on our systems here by switching to air to ground mode and on the SMS page we're going to power on our harms. And on the left hand side we're going to put the harm, the HAD page up. And so you can see there's a lot of similarity between the two. However there's additional symbology on the HAD page that we're going to be able to use. So we can see we have our, our threat circles for the SA-2s and inside you're going to see some uh, symbology coming up there and I've got center of interest on the left hand side. I'm going to switch on our master arm now and I'm going to climb a bit in altitude. So we're going to move the cursor over uh, w one of these symbols and we're going to use the EXP mode. It's the EXP mode you're probably going to be using most of the time in order to focus in on a particular item that's come up. And If we look at the documentation you'll see the different colors. You can see there's two items there. One of them is 2A and the other is 2T and one of them is green and the other is yellow. Now the, the the 2T is going to be the spoon rest, which is the early warning radar, and the 2A is going to be the fan song, which is the fire control radar. So we can see from our settings there, we have they seem to be quite close together, and the A is actually switched on. And if I ho hover over it, you'll see on the top right there, you'll see PMG5, which is the least reliable uh, information set about those items. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you can see we're almost ready to uh, trespass into the SA-2's threat envelope and tr at 23,000 now so I'm going to kind of level up here and going to push up our speed. We're going to go gated uh, in order to get our speed back up. When we're engaging I like to be at at or close to a corner velocity so that if I have to um, do any evasive uh, tactics I'm at the best corner velocity to get away. So we're going to focus in on, on this page and there's two settings here, the GS and there's a TI and we're I'm not going to explain what these are, these are pause mode uh, settings for the harm and they are covered in uh, the pause um, AGM-88 video. So we've trespassed the circle now. We're going to have a look at these again. 
by zooming in and we can see that the the fan song radar is active although we don't see it on our radar and we also see the PMG uh, is gone down now to um, to four so it's a this is a probability rating for the accuracy of our information so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to beam the target and we're going to try and get that value down more if we zoom out we can see we know the SA2 should be around the steer point 4 but actually our HAD is displaying its offset from that and, and you can see the T2 is even uh, more offset from that so I know definitely they're not in that location now this might not be the case in a real uh, mission scenario you might you might not know where these targets are and so you're relying on the uh, probability function of the HTS to get m get a more accurate picture but in this case I know where they are so I know that the information is not accurate so let's um let's zoom in again and now let's look a bit more and this is still on PGM5 which is no good to us but as you can see the 2A has actually its location has moved on our radar and you can see we're gone down to PMG1 so that's probably as good a an accurate picture I'm going to get on that as um, as I'm going to so I'm now going to carry out a handoff you see it's gone switched off again because it's we're beaming it and, and it's not we're at the edge of our ed edge of its uh, threat envelope so it's probably not seeing us as a threat anymore so I'm going to go back in I'm going to maintain this altitude and we're going to bump up our speed a little bit and I'm going to go back to normal mode and we're going to put it in the threat envelope so we're well inside the threat circle now and we're 18 miles roughly from th the target location and we see it switched on again now and we're back to a PGM one so I'm going to hand off to that by TMSO you can see that it takes a little while now the radar is lighting us up and I'm going to fire and I'm going to there's little point in me hanging around here he's going to fire any second now so I need to get out he's still lighting me up I can still hear a ticking okay now I'm turned away I need to be watching it and getting a bit of speed I actually should be in my chap and flare mode here yeah he's not gone away yet I'm gonna have a quick look outside at the the missile so we've not hit anything there I think the missile has gone ballistic well, we can see the symbology there for the um, the scan cone and if you see down on the right hand side here you can see we're in PB mode of the pause mode we're just reaching the edge of the threat envelope and so we can still have we still have the SA2 live so I'm going to turn back around and have another go So we're going to undesignate by TMS down and it's looking at me again I'm just about to trespass 
and I'm going to focus in once more. Now the only thing we see here is a yeah, uh, we, we can see both of them now and I, it's hard to see because they're they're coincident with one another and what I won't know here is whether I am locking on the the 2T which is the the spoon rest or the bar lock which is what I want to be locking on unfortunately so I'm gonna just move it over to the right here TMS up so you're gonna get a handoff And interesting that I'm actually not I'm not getting a good handoff there. So I'm gonna TMS down and I'm gonna try that once more. And hard to see it looks like I'm on the 2a which is what I want to be and I'm now 17 miles so I'm going to put nose down and I'm going to fire and now I'm going to come off target okay, I need to be prepared to do some evasive maneuvers if we do get a launch on us and I'm going to put my jammer on now I'm going to have a look at the, the missile and let's see what it's doing. We did actually get a, a hit on the first one. And looking now, this looks like it's going to hit the second one. Missed. You saw at, at the last minute, it's actually it overshot that missile. So we still have the SA-2 up. So now we're depleted of, of harms. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to go out of the threat circle. And we're going to come back in and I'm going to just have a quick look at the symbology once more because we can designate targets and we can um, we can highlight them. We obviously can't fire any harm, but I just want to talk a little bit more about the symbology. So I'm going to put us into autopilot mode and just um, get us more quickly outside the circle. Okay, let's turn back in. We're going to undesignate that target. And we're going to come back around. And we can see we have two SA-2s there. And what we can do is we can... Um, we can designate different targets. Now, I'm going to want to designate that SA-2 the 2A there, but I could also designate other targets here. So let's uh, do a TMS up on this one. Okay, we've selected that one, and let's do a TMS up on this one. On hand, 6 2, request taxi back. Mud M62, taxi to ramp. You are cleared all the way in. So you can see we have a circle around that and we have a square around that one and now we're going to do another one. So you can see we, what we've got is we've got three targets designated but one is priority. And if we fire that one here, it will automatically skip to the next target in that list. And so if one of those targets is not live, now if they were close together, if one of the targets was not live, the missile seeker would start looking at one of these other priority targets if it's within its, its flight envelope. So that's pretty much all I want to say about the... Mud M63, taxi ramp, you are cleared all the way in. That's, all, that's as much as I want to say about the HAD mode, which is the harm attack display mode 
using the HTS, the Harm Targeting System pod. I hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, feel free to like, dislike, uh, comment and subscribe. And until the next time, this is Fish Out. And thank you for watching.